got Miss Sherry. Good morning, Road. Happy Father's Day to you. Uh, the Hampton Roads Prostrate Health Forum have declared today paint the, the, paint the region blue. Okay, that's why we are wearing the blue ribbons for the fight for prostate cancer. Now, this gentleman is going to get very upset at me, but I have to recognize him. Because diligently, every Father's Day, yeah. he says, Babe, are you ready to pass out the ribbons? And last week, he was leaving church, and I see him across the parking lot. He says, Babe, give me a call. So I went to breakfast, uh, this place called A. Briscoe, Disco. I don't know, I just know the food is good. <laughs> As soon as I get to the restaurant, I see him and his wife. So he says, babe, look, next Sunday, you have to get up, give your testimony, talk about prostate cancer. And I looked at his wife and I said, did he just Bobby told me that I have to do this next week? But the point is, he is so diligent about doing this. I don't even think it's a committee. I think he just goes to the pastor and says, hey, pastor, we're going to do this. He, he texts me at 6.30 yesterday morning. They called me when he came. I called them at 6.45. He says, get some ribbons up to the church. I say, it's done. He called me back yesterday evening. Did you get the ribbons up to the church? <laughs> Point is, he's diligent about it. And I want Corey over to please stand. Corey. Okay, he's coming back at 10.30, but he will see at this point. Oh, he's up in the balcony. All right, bro. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, my pastor's always said that we are the walking, talking, living, breathing testimony. And sometimes when I give my testimony, it seems like bragging. But if I'm a brag about what Jesus Christ has done for me, I'm going to keep on bragging. But I've been about with prostate cancer, and in 2014, 2016, it was all done. I didn't even tell my boys when I was going through it. It was like, Mom, what's wrong with Dad? Well, he's not feeling well. I told them after the fact because I knew I was going to beat it. In that testimony, four months ago, I went to get my prostate check. And the doctor says, come back in six months. He calls me up in two days. He says, your prostate is at 4.5. That's not good. Come back in four months, right? I went back, and a, uh, a week ago, I get my, re my results, and my prostate level is 0 0.08. God is good. Let me say this. Let me say this. My baby boy is dealing with lupus, okay? And I'm taking him through the same stages. And he said six months, four months ago, Dad, we need to step up our game. He said, I got a little back gut. What about your gut? <laughs> so we got back to the yoga exercises, the natural herbs. Uh, I had to reset. I reset every day. So we had to increase our prayer life. My son went to chemo. Two weeks ago, all right? And his levels were 66% for remission. It has to be 80. The doctor says that was tremendous. And I'm just saying this to say that as that being my son and me being a father, I have to keep pushing him to let him know that everything is going to be okay. Now, we have to fight, dads, fathers, we have to fight. Nine years ago today, I joined Grove Baptist Church on Father's Day. Nine years ago, I 
I'll never forget it standing right there. Brother Warren Harris met me at the altar. I will never forget it. But right now, I was telling Pastor Murray, it's been nine years, and I haven't found my niche at Grove. The last two years, I stopped doing a lot of things in the community because I said I need to put more in the church. Amen. And maybe God is telling me, you just don't need to be that wingman. You know, I can knock down the three, but you need to be the point guard. You need to step up and take control. Maybe that's what God is telling me. But us as fathers, as Pastor mentioned, we have to be better examples in the church. My boys tell me, Dad, can we go to prayer meeting on Wednesday nights? I'm home so tired, but I have to get up and go. So we have to step up and be fathers. My favorite scripture is Proverbs 2131. Prepare the horse for the day of battle, but victory is of the Lord. See, we have to prepare these kids. We have to make them stronger, men and women, than what we are. Now, just one second. Now, I love my school system. We're doing the same things, and the same things are still happening. So I'm trying something different. That's a whole other story. But let's stand up and be fathers. I went to the ministry meeting, and okay, I said, well, I'm going to join the wellness ministry. Okay? Right there in it. I miss line dancing there. You need to come line dancing when the night is fun. But I looked around and I looked at the men's ministries table and I didn't see it now. The men's ministry table, I'm not trying to put anybody on the spot. And I know when I step down, Pastor Bernard probably would say, well, you're going to be the chairman of the men's ministry. <laughs> but point being, men, we have to step up. We have to be fathers and we have to make it known that we can make a difference. Happy Father's Day. I don't know what you guys are doing, but it's my day and I'm going fishing with my boys. That's the new Father's Day. Thank you. He wants to go. He wants to go.